Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sports Medicine Ultrasound. I'm here to finish off a knee effusion aspiration and PRP injection. Now I've actually made my job really, really difficult and without ultrasound this would be highly challenging. With ultrasound I'll walk you through it. What we see here on the right hand of the screen is the patella, the quadriceps tendon, the suprapatellar fat pad. On the bottom left of the screen we see the femur and the prefemoral fat pad. The effusion we saw in part one of this video isn't present anymore. So how do I know where to inject the PRP into the actual knee joint fluid? Well, in the old days, you would simply go through the front and hope it got there. Some people advocate simply just sticking it in, but the trouble is, if we land inside the prefemoral fat pad, the patient's gonna have a big flare up and it may not help the patient that much. Some people advocate placing it under the patella medially, and that's kind of my last approach if I can't get this one. But I'm pretty confident about this one. What we do here is we simply rotate the probe 90 degrees. Again, I've got a little bit of sterile gel here just to make my job a touch easier. Once again, top of the screen, quadriceps tendon, bottom of the screen, femur. In between is suprapatellar fat pad and prefemoral fat pad. If I make a slight movement of my probe distally towards the knee, we do see all of a sudden a black area on the screen pop out. That's the fluid, that's my target. Here we are, we're gonna come from the left-hand side of the screen into that black fluid pocket. I brace everything, I've got my sterile gloves on, I've got my sterile drape here. At the proximal end, here we go. You can see the needle coming from the left. If I were to inject it right here, it would be inside the prefemoral fat. I don't want that. If I pass the needle just that tiny bit further, this is actually inside the fluid of the knee joint. Make a slight hand adjustment, brace up against the patient's skin, and inject. And you can see that flowing all the way across the screen. It would be incorrect if my needle were back here. And that's the beauty of the ultrasound, is I can see exactly where the needle tip is, and I can see exactly where the fluid is flowing.